There have been measures in the past aimed at boosting the wage and benefits of our kasambahays, but how they spend and save their money remains to be a problem. Kasambahay Savings Project is a program that teaches kasambahays basic financial literacy and the principles of saving money. And to tell us about this initiative, we have with us here in the studio project head, Lindsay Lim. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming to Daybreak this morning. Thank you for having me. This is a very, uh, this is a great project that you have. Um, first of all, let's explain to our viewers what is the Kasambahay Project. So the Kasambahay Savings Project helps Kasambahays open savings accounts in BPI. Mm -hmm. Now, these the savings accounts, why are they important for, um, for Kasambahays? Uh, for two reasons. One is they have a safe and secure place to keep their money. Uh, they can start saving slowly. And then the other reason is we want to help them ladder up. So at the beginning, they might have a savings account and then they might move on to micro insurance, health or life insurance, then move on to time deposits and then maybe a bigger investment. So we're helping them to become uh, more financially included step by step. Mm -hmm. It may sound um, very complicated for uh, the Kasambahais out there, um, but actually it really is very simple. You know, I read the project and, and what is the, uh, the, for example, let's start with the requirements for them to be able to join this project. Um, what are the requirements that they need? The requirements are very basic. Uh, they need 250 pesos, 200 for the initial deposit and 50 pesos for the ATM card fee. One one by one or two by two ID picture and a valid government ID. Okay, and that's it. That's it's it. Two hundred fifty pesos. That is all they need to get to the um, to, to get to open an account. Yes. Right, and then they get started from there. Now, aside from let's talk about advantages. Aside from the fact that um, they get to have a savings account and um, it gets you know it gets to build up into something bigger in the future one of the biggest advantages you and i were just talking about this earlier is that this project will help them um you know right now they like to send their money back to the provinces yes. right yes because they'll make their money in the city as a kasambahay and then they'll send their money to their families yes um, and they use remittance centers yes. which charges an interest rate let's talk about that yes so um, right now, a lot of Kasambahais, they send money through a uh, remittance service and they charge 6% or 4% of the amount that the Kasambahai sends. So depending on how much they send, say 100 or 500 pesos. If they open an account, so suppose they open a BPI account and then their family also opens a BPI account in the province, they can do a transfer, a BPI to BPI transfer, and there's no fee for it. So if the Kasambahai is sending money home, monthly or bi-monthly, they're saving a lot of money over the long term. Yes, definitely, because there's so many years that they're working, what, 20 or more years yes. as a Kasambahay, and every time they send money through these remittance centers, it's 6% um, interest rate yes. right there. And with this, like you mentioned again, this account, it's free. It's you free. can send your money to the province, to your families, without, without paying any without interest pay. rates. Yes. Okay. And that's a great idea. I think that's one advantage that they can definitely um, use or yes. benefit from. Now, let's talk about how you came up with this project. I understand that you came from, uh, you studied in Columbia University, and this is part of a grant. Yes. So I was studying at Columbia University and I received a Davis Projects for Peace grant. My proposal was to set up a domestic worker savings program in the Philippines. Um, the idea came about from my Aunt Carol. She told me that she had opened a savings account for her Kasambahay and for the past two years they've been putting one-fifth of her salary into the account every month. My aunt was concerned that she might send all of her salary home and they'd spend it on her brother's wedding. Mm -hmm. so, um, so this Kasambahay now has a good nest egg to fall back on. Mm -hmm. And last year, uh, after the Kasambahay law came out, a lot of Kasambahay started getting government IDs, SSS IDs, voters IDs, PhilHealth IDs. So this really facilitates the process of applying for, for a, bank a bank account. account. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. Because before, back then, they don't have these IDs. Yes. So now because of the Kasambahay, Bahai law, they have the SSS and all these benefits, and now it's easy for them to open a yes. bank account. Yes, yes, exactly. and I don't think people realize that. Now, for people who are watching, how can they enroll or help their Kasambahais open a, an account? 
Um, it's very simple. They can just call our number, uh, 505-6574, or our cell phone number on the screen. They can also go to uh, our Facebook page, Kasambahay Savings Project, for more information. We have events every weekend where we help them um, open the account. They get the ATM card in just a few hours. They don't have to come back again. And we hope that they register as soon as possible. Okay, and right now I understand that it's only for a few areas. Yes. So the project is being, being piloted in San Juan. We have the support of several barangay captains. Uh, so we're st starting in the San Juan area and all the events are in San Juan. Okay, um, great. And then when are you planning on uh, extending it to other areas? Well, hopefully the San Juan pilot goes well and maybe next year we can expand to other places. But if the Kasambahay is working, let's say, in another area, can they still apply for the project? They can, as long as they're willing to go to one of the San Juan locations for the savings account enrollment event. Oh, okay. Yes. So that's fine. Yes. Okay, great. So anything else that you want to tell our audience about the project? Um, we really think that Financial information is really important, especially for our Kasambahais. It's a chance for them to feel more included as part of society. So we hope that the employers support their Kasambahais in, in this way by helping them enroll into the program and then helping them use their new savings account. Okay, well, good job for you, Lindsay, for spearheading this project. Thank and you. Um, I'm sure it will take off and, uh, you know, you will um, definitely, the people will benefit from this. Thank you Thank so you. much. Okay, and that was uh, Lindsay Lim joining us this morning.